Hey, good morning and happy hump day. Yes, it is Wednesday. We are halfway through the week and we are halfway through June. Gee, many Christmas. So we're halfway through the year. Wow, all these halves. Um, I was online last night looking for a couple of things and I was checking out reviews. And so I went in and started looking at some of the reviews that we have out there, not only as a company, but also how you guys are doing on individual reviews. And most of you are doing fantastic at getting your reviews out there. Um, and also just wanted to mention reviews versus testimonials. You know, reviews come directly from your customers. So you ask for a review, they go online, they create the review, they maybe give you a star rating. Those are reviews. Testimonials usually come from something that you've received. So if someone sends you a letter and there's a note in there that you would like to add to your reviews, you would actually be copying and paste it, pasting it in. So that's a little more like a testimonial, but reviews are organic. And I know a lot of you are doing a great job at getting reviews. And I know that you've been focusing on Zillow and that's fantastic. Uh, but we need to make sure that those reviews are available all over the place. Now, a lot of our consumers go to uh, Zillow to look at realtors and properties, but guess what? About 40% of the sellers and 60% of the buyers get their realtor from a friend or someone they already know. But if you don't think they're gonna check them out, they're, they're gonna check you out. So we wanna make sure that your reviews are in the right place. It, Google sometimes takes from other places like um, LinkedIn, like Facebook. So when you're doing a search, and this is something you should be doing on a regular basis, is making sure that you're searching your name to check out what's out there. But more importantly, when you get a good review, you need to share it in other places. When you get that review on Zillow, please take and share it on your professional page. Make sure that it gets out to your centers of influence and to the people who know you, like you, trust you, because those are the people who are going to refer you. So watch for our class on what to do with your reviews, uh, when you get them, one, how to get them, and two, what to do with them. You need to make sure you're sharing them, sharing them out, posting them, there's nothing bad about making sure that people know how it would be to work with you. And when you're requesting reviews, just request a nice short review from your customer, your past customer. Um, and if you're new to the business, you can, re you can request reviews from friends and family members, but it would be how they believe it would be to work with you or how they know you and how they know your core. Um, but you can still get reviews. Don't hesitate to reach out and get reviews. Um, when you're asking for a review, just ask for a nice short review. Maybe uh, they can say a little bit about how they know you, where they met you, and how you helped make the experience better for them in real estate. So watch again for the class on reviews and what to do with them. Uh, we've got our listing presentation coming out next week. Pete's coming into the offices. So we'll be following that up with some ideas on what to do and how to engage, as well as a focus on the reviews and what to do with them. So if you need any help, just reach out. You can call me at 904-537-6149 or reach out to me via email at cleblond at cbvfl.com. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. Talk to you soon. Bye.